<laughs> What's cracking YouTube man? It's your boy Jabari Jane. I'm back again with another video. First and foremost, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing, liking the content, and just giving me the platform to be able to speak. It really warms my heart when you guys see me out in the gym or running on our dens or wherever you may see me around the city or on base and you guys just let me know that, you know, one of my videos helped you in some way, shape, or form. So I just have to say thank you for that. I also want to say that everything that I say in these videos in the past, present, and the future, right? I represent myself and only myself. I do not speak on the army, on the army's behalf um, as a whole. So, and everything that I say, have said, and will say in the future can easily be found with a quick and easy Google search, right? So, my words are all in accordance with AR 530-1, Operation Security. So, that's for my buddies at Legal that like to watch my videos. <laughs> Alright, so, I want to send a special shout out to Uncle Stick for giving me this um, YouTube video topic, which is 82nd Tips and Trucks. He meant tricks, right? So, I've been here about two, and some, two years and some change, almost going on three years now. Um, and I feel as if I can, you know, guide you guys in the right direction. I have with me some notes. Uh, to keep me on track so i'm not rambling on hopefully this video won't be too long right so tip number one if you have orders coming to the 82nd airborne division is to show up already airborne now i had like four different jump school dates for x amount of reasons right um but the first day i wasn't able to go i was coming from korea and because of uh the thing right i don't want youtube to catch me saying it but the sickness um my date got canceled so i ended up coming to brag not airborne qualified i actually got called a leg on my first day here um i ended up sitting on staff for about 10 months just doing staff work you know every lieutenant wants to be a platoon leader right out the gate but unfortunately that's not going to happen and if you're coming to an airborne unit and you have no wings it's it's going to be pretty boring sitting on staff so just be prepared for that if you can help it come here with wings because if you if you're not already slotted you know for an airborne unit they'll easily route you to a leg unit and at that point they say oh yeah don't worry you'll 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 get airborne um in the 80 second it's easy don't worry about it yo i went through four dates dog like four jump school dates and everything was already a priority. Everything was always a priority instead of sending me to jump school. I missed. The, I missed out on a deployment because I wasn't airborne qualified. So save yourself the trouble. Try. I mean, at the end of the day, the army's army. So try your best to get yourself a set of wings before you get here, because you. If you're an officer, you will not take a platoon. If you're a lieutenant, you won't take a platoon. If you're a captain, you definitely ain't gonna take command. Um, and if you are. And a maneuver unit, you know, infantry, anything combat arms. If you're gonna ranger tab, you're not gonna take a platoon. Definitely, you won't take command unless it's like HHC or whatever, right? So, yeah, come here with your credentials because if you come here without them, you're gonna be like in a waiting room, um, <clears throat> just waiting for your time. All right, tip number two is secure housing in a safe neighborhood. When I first got here, I had nothing. Like, I was extremely babied in Korea, so I didn't have to really set up anything. When I got here, I had to end up sleeping on my buddy's uh, air mattress uh, for a couple weeks, so I found my own place to stay. And on-post housing was all full at the time. So, there was a bunch of apartments here in the Fayetteville, Fort Bragg area. Um, however, many of them are in very sketchy neighborhoods. So just because the rent may say, oh yeah, 700, 800 bucks a month, yo, like, take a look at what's around the neighborhood because a lot of these places are pretty sketchy and believe it or not service members stick out like a sore thumb so you know i hope you uh i'm not gonna say that yeah just make sure that you do your, your research look up these neighborhoods um and if you're like me and you've lived in the hood before i'm gonna go ahead and say it a lot of people they kind of stereotype a lot of the lower income neighborhoods um but the hood is the hood wherever you go and there's a hood here so just make sure if you don't want to be around that neighborhood do you did do your due diligence save up enough money because the rent where i live right now is very high however i live in a nice gated community so there's that all right just make sure that you do your research before you move in somewhere and don't just go off the pictures <clears throat> tip number three pt on your own 
PT is like the number one priority in the 82nd alongside with every other number one priority uh, for those who catch my drift, <laughs> right? PT, it's not going anywhere. 0630 to 0800. Um, for my combat arms cats, you guys PT multiple times out of the day. Sometimes, depending on what unit you have, you got a gym in your work area. So you guys have a lot of time to PT. If you're a logistician, or like an FSC, um, that standard you have to adhere to as well. But at the same time, we actually have like a real world day job. We don't just train and go home. Train, 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 go home. No, we train, train, train. Then we got to transport this. We got to move that. We got to do this, that, and the third and still train. So sometimes, you know, you may not lead a motor pool to like 20 hundred, unfortunately. And if you got good leadership, they'll comp you the next day. But don't think you're getting out of PT. No, <clears throat> PT is, is every day. Now, whether you want to conduct 0630 to 0800 PT, or you do PT like at a different time of the day. I do PT twice a day. I go to the weight room in the evening, and I PT in the morning, right? It ain't going nowhere. Make sure that you conduct in PT. All right, that, that, that's, that goes without saying, man. But, you know, yeah. Uh, next, document your injuries, right? We jump out of airplanes here. As crazy as that seems, as that seems. On my first jump, I'm like, I'm literally like, I'm on the bird like, yo, what am I doing? I'm about to jump out of an airplane, right? And believe it or not, I'm about 6'4", weigh over 200 pounds. I don't have a soft landing at all. So just about every jump, ugh, ugh, like I'm, I'm literally making that sound whenever I hit the ground, right? Do not be afraid. There was one time I hurt, I hurt my back. I went, I went right on my lower back. And I went to, uh, I went to sit call at the aid station, the battalion aid station, right? The, the PFC in there, it was like, I mean, I can give you like ibuprofen. I'm like, no, I don't want, I, I, need, I need you to write something down. They didn't write anything down, so therefore it didn't happen, right? Don't be one of those paratroopers or soldiers like, yeah, I'm just going to push through and da 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 and And don't document nothing because when you get out, believe it or not, we got to leave the army one day, right? And you have no documentation that you did anything. Guess who's not going to get a, um, uh, what's it called? Dang, disability. Guess who's not going to get disability? You, right? Because you didn't write anything down. The last jump I had, I ended up spraining my ankle. I hobbled my way all on down to the emergency room and I made sure I got that documented. And every jump that I do from this day forward, if I stub my toe, I'm getting it documented because nobody's gonna document your injuries for you. And when it comes time for you to finally take your uniform off and say, I'm done with this army stuff, I need my, uh, my disability, guess what you're gonna need? The receipts. You are going to need the receipts. No other unit really jumps. We're the only airborne unit well yeah no i'm no we're not you got the, the 82nd 11th now and a couple of different airborne brigades you guys know what i mean right not every unit jumps so if you are if you're lucky enough blessed enough to be in an airborne unit do your due diligence when you train that if you hurt yourself to get it documented all right um all right next tip is never put your phone on silent and why do i say this right the 82nd is, we are the immediate response force for, you know, the world. So if something happens, right, the 82nd is the first one to be called. You can Google this. It's not classified information, okay? With that being said, there are no scheduled deployments. So where if you're somewhere like at Fort Hood or Fort Riley, where it's like, okay, we're going to deploy on this date, da 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 yada, we don't get that luxury. It's just we're on call. We are on call, and when when it's time to go, it's time to go, right? And that honestly makes it extremely stressful on the families. My fiance hates the fact that we have to do this, right? Because say you want to start a family, or you know, say you know your your wife or your husband, they just want you around. There's n you, there's no real predictability being on this schedule. Well, it's not a schedule, but being on this status, so. If you come here, just go ahead and have that talk with your loved ones, your kids, whatever, mom, dad, whoever, and just let them know like, hey, I'm here until I'm not. And just rip the band-aid off quicker. Don't drag it out. 
if you hear some information that comes down from your chain of command that lets you know, hey, it's about that time, it's about that time. Just rip the band-aid off, all right? Um, next tip, and this will be my last tip because I don't want this video to be too long, all right? Is to don't get consumed in your work <clears throat> and let this thing take over your life, all right? Going back to my last tip is like, don't ever put your phone on silent. And that's just because of uh, a FOMO, fear of missing out, right? There's constant random taskings falling out of the sky, right? You could get due outs on a daily basis and it's so hard to track these things, right? I think of it like being in a buffet line and you just get, you keep getting fed due outs and information and it's like, you're trying to eat your plate, but this is, it keeps piling up and piling up and then like, oh no, I forgot this. And you know what I'm saying? It can get so overwhelming, man. But at the end of the day, right, you go home and you see your loved ones and none of that stuff matters. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, if you're in a garrison environment, yo, none of the stuff is life or death. If you are in a garrison environment, it's not life or death, right? I have actually gotten, I've allowed work to stress me out. Work has caused plenty of arguments in my relationship. Um, and it came, it came, you know, a time in my life where I was like, yo, I, I got to stop this. I gotta stop and I'm still working on it now like I see other people in my unit they leave work in, in civvies around like 1630 doors locked at 17 and they're gone me I'm, I'm in the office you know 18 1900 like it's okay and I mean yeah of course the mission has to get done but bro if everything is a, a no-fail mission and everything like bro you probably got kids at home you got a wife at home like right? come on man like something's got to give you know the mission has to get done you do your best to accomplish that mission but at the end of the day do not let this thing run you man you will drive yourself insane and you have to know when to cut the the lights off and to take care of you and your mental right at the end of the day man you're gonna get paid on the first and 15th so relax no one's gonna die if the grass cutting detail forgets to weed whack you know it's okay no one's gonna die if you miss a turn in. Relax, all right? I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to view it. Um, feel free to share it with somebody. And you know, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, if you want me to, to speak on a certain topic or you know whatever, just let me know. Last thing, again, I appreciate you guys and I will see you guys on the next one.